Food & Wine Magazine just released their inaugural list of the next great food cities, and Jersey City is on the list. Today I'm hanging out with my friend Sean, who's going to show us the best of JC. I'm excited. Let's get going. All right. So I know you featured this in the issue, right? How did you guys land on the restaurants that you chose? Yep, so overall the package includes 11 different cities throughout the country. The one thing that we wanted to highlight is that Jersey City is an incredibly diverse neighborhood. And in particular, there's a huge Indian population. Specifically, it's one of the largest in the United States. So Newark Avenue is about a five minute walk from Journal Square. And there's dozens and dozens of restaurants that are Indian restaurants or Pakistani restaurants. And Rizoy in particular is one of my favorites. It's been here for 25 years and they specialize in Punjabi fare, which is in Northern India. So every time I come, my wife and I always get like a ton of food, but yeah. this is my absolute favorite. Okay. So right here we have the lamb korma, which is a really like creamy curry. So creamy. The Pani Puri is an Indian street food dish that's made with chickpeas, potatoes, and onions. And then over here, we've got the gulab jamun, which is like a sweet dessert. Oh, it's so good. Well, I'm very impressed with your first pick. I can't wait to see what else you have in store for us. Of course. All right, Sean, so we're further down Newark Avenue. Where are we going next? So right now, we're going to Freetown Road Project, which has really great Antiguan and West Indian food. So this place has phenomenal Antiguan and West Indian fare. Right here, we've got uh, vegetarian curry. We've got goat roti. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And then we've got codfish fritters, which are wonderful. I could probably like ten of these. So when we compiled the list of the best food cities, we wanted to make sure that we weren't just highlighting restaurants that had really phenomenal dishes. We also wanted to recognize restaurants that were contributing to the community. So um, this restaurant in particular during COVID was operating as a soup kitchen, but now they also work with local nonprofit organizations where they donate leftover food and take care of the elderly and whatnot. So we want to celebrate that. that for that. Yeah, yeah, good food, doing good. You got a lot of good. All right, Sean, last but not least. So we're here at the Hutton. Yes. What have we got? So I wanted to take you to one of my personal favorite spots at the end of this. This is my neighborhood. So we've moved over from Journal Square. Now we're in the Heights. So I wanted to take you to a place that does like elevated pub fare. We've got a fried chicken naan sandwich, uh, apple guac with goat cheese and plantain chips. Mmm. And then end it all off with cinnamon donuts that are phenomenal with some vanilla gelato. Oh, okay, so that's your dessert. I see my dessert coming. Ah, uh, you gotta end the day with a cocktail, you know what I'm saying? What is this, Sean? So this is my favorite. So this is the Jersey Lightning. It's made with apple brandy, demerara syrup, lemon juice, and amaro. Sean, I really appreciate you taking me around Jersey City. I am very full, but I can still drink this thing. Cheers! Same. Cheers. Thanks so much.